start off with Vodacom, which of course is majority owned by Vodafone out of the UK. That comes as a result of a series of transactions over the years. Remember the operations now are South Africa, Tanzania, the DRC, Lesotho, Mozambique and Kenya because they have recently done the deal to take a significant interest in Safaricom yep. and that was as a result of Vodafone out of the UK's yep. joint ownership of both of those assets. It's done well recently, 282.7 billion rands worth of market capitalization, that's hefty. Price to earnings ratio 17.8, dividend yield high, 5%. Let's go to the share chart because this will reflect what I'm talking about. Although that uh, little ball moving down was on the right hand side looks a bit fishy. But as far as it goes, this is a, a successful company that has really risen out of the industry to become the dominant player. I mean, if you were to look at from 2013, just looking at the chart, you're almost coming from um, 100 runs mm -hmm. uh, there to where it is today. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a massive. Tremendous performance. Uh, uh, certainly. I think despite the dip on the 2015, mm. uh, you still certainly see almost like a, um, um, you know, a triangle. Yeah. You know, uh, it's fantastic performance, I think. So very Wonder steady, Hornier. very good performer, gaining yep. market yep. share, market yep. leader, doing well, paying yep. high dividends throughout the period. Well, it's currently the highest uh, right now, but I think they don't have the same volatility you saw on MTN. MTN was considered to be a massive growth story, yep. but certainly um, uh, Vodacom obviously was leading, both from a subscriber perspective, yep. because I think MTN almost will double um, the, 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 the number subscriber of subscribers, yeah. but yeah. Vodacom is a better quality of subscriber because of the big subscribers. But I think if you look even at the market capitalization, I, I think mm. Vodacom is 282 mm -hmm. which is billion there, and mm. M10 should be 233. Which is a stunning yep. change from what it was. Okay, when I came into the office yesterday and I saw that Vodafone of the UK was aggressively selling like 5 or 7% or something of the shares in Vodacom in an accelerated book build, I was like, what What's the hell? happening is, you know, I mean, I thought this was like their best asset, but it turns out that what they were doing there was uh, a deal in order to increase the free float, float here. Yep. And to explain to the yep. viewers what that means, yep. why do they need a free float? No, certainly, I, I think all companies now register on the JSC. You know, yeah. you've got all what you call your shareholder weighted in the yes. free float. The free float basically means it's not tightly held. Yeah. That is the shares that are made available so that the share becomes liquid on the market to and the public. And if you fall yeah. below a certain level, then you get thrown you out of the index and e that sort of thing. Exactly. So they had to basically yes. sell so that, um, you know, they reduce from 69. And the reason they got that higher percentage is because in the process of doing the deal with Safaricom, they pushed more... They got more of shares, yeah. in in exchange for Vodafone shares, shares and yes. then they were above that level. No, so it was always going to happen is what I was saying. So I must calm down. I mustn't get excited. It doesn't mean that <laughs> Vodafone of the UK is in is any worried, way yeah. worried about yeah, what's yeah. going on. But also them. given the fact that the price has been going up, remember Vodacom yeah. was almost at the highest uh, recently. Mm. Um, the market cap also makes it obviously higher. So yeah. if you're holding lots of shares, yeah. certainly you're going to go over yeah. the threshold. But any event, the lucky devils from the big institutions that got the call from the book builders were basically getting a discounted price. But yeah. what I would expect in forthcoming days is for the share price to recover back to that level because that's where it was trading. There's no reason for it not to be there. Certainly. So, yeah. so the share price was down about 7, 8% uh, yeah. yesterday yeah. purely because they yeah. were offered at 164 yeah. versus where the share was trading yeah. above 180. Yeah. So in the short term, if you basically have got a little bit of cash, uh, mm. you've got an opportunity to buy. I think it will climb another 5%. Because for no other reason than those institutions which bought the shares, they don't like they want to be seen to have done a good deal. So I'm they'll with be you. buying I'm them with in you. the aftermarket. They will buy back again in the aftermarket. And of course, Kenya is interesting. We've got an election rerun happening there, but it's a country which has got, you know, a young and entrepreneurially oriented population. It's going places. It's a better market for Vodacom than the DRC and Lesotho and Mozambique, which are also fabulous countries, but unfortunately poorer countries. So it's all about the mix. Kenya, Kenya's it, excellent with the payment technology as well, Mpesa. It's a superpower in mm. East Africa. The young people there, or just general Kenya, is the most yeah. vibrant for me yeah. um, a country within that region. And certainly, they set the trend with Mpesa. It's unfortunate, obviously, what's happening with the elections, or I don't know whether I should say it's unfortunate. <laughs> but certainly, yeah. I think for telecom companies, yeah. it's far much better because it creates more activity. That's uh, for so sure. So they will basically make Everyone's more money. Everyone's basically yeah. sending messages. <laughs> exactly. So Where they will make you? more Did money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we'll have to wait and see. I mean, yeah. I think it's probably going to be a, a repeat. What's yes. the right word? The same outcome, I would I guess. I, I mean, I haven't you. followed it all that closely. Yeah. 
but the process will be better and yep. therefore well yep. we hope anyway yes yeah Good. So, how about this one? Hot or not? I think I'll be hot on Vodacom. Hot, and yeah. particularly hot now, because the opportunity, if you move fast, is to get the stock at the same level the institutional guys Got did it, yeah. it, and then see where it yeah. resettles. Certainly. Okay. Good.